Hi guys. Oh man. I am so excited for this one guys. This is probably my favorite painting to date. Have you ever wondered how people actually achieve the dream you want to achieve? Sometimes it feels daunting. <laughs> They've gone through this process of building their business, their career, and, and it takes so long. And you're here at the beginning stages thinking, will I ever get there? Well, if you're not, at least I am. <laughs> So before I started this painting, I watched this video from the Milan Art Institute. And if you haven't seen um, any of their videos, you should check them out because they're really awesome. Um, but they did this like free class on how to paint interesting brushstrokes. And their main thing was that they, every time you go get paint, you pick up a different color than what you had before. And it really like was so much fun. This was, I think this was my second time doing it, but it was so much fun to see how vibrant and how like, like crazy cool I can make it. This is my first time doing it. Although I didn't get a video of me actually doing it. So here's me pretending to do eyelashes. <laughs> oh yes, I'm calling myself out. <laughs> but these were my practice for the actual canvas painting because I wanted to use this technique on the painting. <sighs> okay, so today we're doing, obviously this painting, we're gonna do acrylics. Um, I think I'm gonna outline the lion first and then I might outline her. And then I think I'm gonna focus majorly on the lion today. So we'll see how that goes. I think the key to any business or dream or everyone says it's consistency, right? But I think even more important than consistency is hope. According to Wikipedia, <laughs> hope is an expectation with confidence or as a verb, to cherish a desire with anticipation. I love that definition. I feel like it's, it's so on point. Cherishing your desire with anticipation. That's like loving to create and just being excited to create. Like literally that's what hope is for me at least because that's what I do. I create whether that's film or, or art or making these YouTube videos like I get to create and creating is so much fun for me and I love the anticipation I have but I think the thing that steals my hope from within me is my when I start to think about okay what is other people gonna think about this painting what are other people gonna think about the words I am saying right now literally like I get so worked up in the opinions of other people and it's something that I'm really working on, really trying to watch myself in because I don't want to care what you guys think, although I love you and I don't, and I do want to care about you, but I don't want other people's opinions to rule and run my life. And so I have to get my hope back. How do I get my hope back from that? I have to go back to why I'm doing this in the first place, what the purpose of all of this is. What you doing? Okay, 
Working on the lion was so much fun. I think at this point I started to believe, okay, this could actually, I, I didn't know if what I was doing on those papers, on the mixed media papers was actually going to like come through on the canvas. I thought I might have to kind of work my way back to blending, but I feel like I used a few different colors, but it ended up looking so cool. Okay, so earlier this morning, I was on my YouTube and my last video was like going crazy. Like it has triple the amount of views that I normally get, quadruple. Okay, so like my average views are like 200 something views, but my last video got over 1,500 views at the moment and it's still going up. Every day I look and it's like still going up. I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, so I'm really excited, but then I was looking at my my subscribers and I was like, oh my gosh I have 99 subscribers and literally while I was looking it turned to 100. So wait, hold on. I gotta show you ah, Thank you guys. I'm at 100 What it seems like like such a small amount, but like It's so big for me <laughs> How cool is that? I think that's something that I forget to mention also. Like, hope sometimes takes a little bit of affirmation here and there. And, and it's hard to maintain hope. It's hard to maintain this desire, this cherished desire at, for anticipation. It's hard to maintain that when you don't always have success going along with it. And I think there's a part of me that was struggling before this whole thing that happened this last week. Like, I think I was like, okay, I'm just gonna keep going. And I've watched so many YouTubers, I've watched so many people say that your YouTube channel just takes time. And after a while, you're gonna start to get a few hit videos and it's gonna start to build and you're gonna start to get more subscribers and it's gonna work out, but like, I wasn't seeing it happening, so I was like, okay, Hannah, you just have to keep going. I just told myself, I'm gonna get to the first 20 videos and we're just gonna see what happens. And the fact that this happened on like, I think it was like my 14th video that I posted, I was like, <gasps> like I don't even have like a clear theme <laughs> to my channel. Like I do, but not really. So it was just so cool to see success. You know, that really helped fuel me. So this is the end of day two. I just have to literally draw her outfit and then it's pretty much done. This is so much fun. She does look different than like the girl that I initially had her out to be, but I kind of like her better. I think she looks cool. I like her jawline, nice and straight. She's, oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. So, going back to our Wikipedia definition, hope is the desire to cherish, wait, <laughs> hope is to cherish your desire with anticipation. So when I feel like I've lost my hope, the first thing that I have to do is remember why I had hope in the first place. What is this desire that I was so excited to do? And for me, that's to create. I cannot help but love to create. I love new ideas. I love making a mess of my paint. <laughs> I love seeing bold colors on a painting and seeing people smile when they hear a joke. I love, I love seeing the joy that creating brings to people. I love seeing how fun it is. Like how much fun is creating? I don't know, I just love, I just, I have to go back to that because then I get to create stuff like this. Oh, look how fun. 
<laughs> I don't have a name for this yet, but I'd love suggestions. This is my newest piece, and she is a bombshell. 